it's your old buddy Michael Japir playing Run 8 Train Simulator 3. And this is the A-Line episode 22. We are still, still in Duval, but uh, we're going to finish up Duval uh, on this turn. Um, so, um, yeah. We got this train here. Uh, this is our shunter here for uh, Jax Duval, and he's got to back these into the uh, yard back here. So he's got this long cut here. And he's going to push it into, into the uh, industry tracks here. Now, it could go here, here. Uh, let's put them... Well, geez. How, how much longer is this? I, I hope we fit them all. If we don't, if we don't fit, we're going to throw on these tracks right here. Now, is there any other train coming in at this point? It doesn't look like it, right? Well, there's no other trains coming from that direction anyway. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to be conductors, as we usually are. Uh, we're going to come down here, and we're going to say land, and then we're going to say please, please allow us to grip onto this part. Well, before we do that, though, we're, we're going to throw these switches here. This one's at the uh, normal. That's not right. It should be reversed. There we go. And this one should be reversed. We don't want to run through this uh, thing if we don't have to. Uh, yeah, I learned that new run through. Remember I used to always say pop and stuff? Did I bring this up already in another video? I can't remember. Uh, when you run through uh, into the diverging part, you know, the, the trailing uh, switch here, if you don't throw it in the right direction, the train just runs over. It won't derail. It's called running through the switch. So I don't want to run through that switch. All right. Yeah. I learned it something. And I can see at the top there, we just switched over to 1700. So this will be the last move we make before we move on to the next day. Oh, boy. It won't let me hang on to that. Of course it won't. All right. Well, let's get it rolling then because I'm, I'm going to have to walk down there if it won't let me ride. Uh, so let's throw it into reverse, right? Yep. And then we're going to have to go uh, release the handbrake. Yep. And then we're going to back up. So three toots. I didn't hear it. Here we go. We got some backupage happening right there. Look at that. There's none of the, what do I got to do now? How do I switch this? What do I do? I hit all the buttons and do dabbies and never got everything correct. All right, so we'll have to walk back this. We'll take a leisurely. I could run, but it's going to be a while before it gets here anyway, right? Yeah. And we will align it to the to the uh, industry track that uh, is already pushed back as far as it can go. Just walking here on the ballast. I suppose if I were really walking this, I would walk over here off of the ballast because the ballast can be tough to walk on. From what I've seen in videos. It's a bunch of loose rock. And you know you're going to be slipping and sliding. Okay he's still coming. Everything's looking awesome. This one is reversed so that's right. I think this last one's going to be wrong. Fellas. Alright now we're on the tarmac. Kind of poured this road weird didn't they? I just throw it down anywhere. Plus, these weeds are growing right through it. Okay, here we go. Do I got a flashlight on me? Is that how I do it? F? I don't even know. Is it? I don't see it. I forget what flashlight is. Not that I really need one. I was just curious. All right, so uh, here we go then. So this one here on the right's Already packed to the front, yeah, pretty much. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna throw it going down this way. Is he coming? Yep, here he comes. Yep, all those switches were thrown properly. And now, since I can't ride it, can I ride on the second? Well, it's going ten miles an hour. Let's let's not slow it down. Let's run down here now. This is running. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, not exactly a fast run now, is it? 
No, it's not. Here we come. Speed limit here is 15 mile an hour. Jeez, this is a longer run than I thought it was going to be. Maybe we will fit all these on this, uh, on these industry tracks. So we do have some room, like I said, on this one here we saw at the beginning. There. So we still can throw it on there, too. These should all be set to normal, and they are. I really should have rode the train down here. <laughs> I'm, do, I'm doing the half-mile sprint. All righty. Here we go. Here's where we're going to end up. We're just going to lash on to this... Uh, Auto rack. Can't even see it. Well, I kind of see it, but if I zoom in, I'll really see it. There it is. Okay. It's a coming. I'll put you guys on pause just before it gets here. Okay, here it comes. Let's uh let's slide it into neutral now. Got it up to 13 mile an hour. And uh, we don't want to hit too hard here now. So let's stand back a little bit in case we do when chunks of metal come flying out. Uh, add some auto brake here. Okay, I'll add a lot more auto brake, indie brake. Oh boy, yep. Oh boy, yeah, that was a hard hit. That was a hard hit. Okay. So uh, we'll see the indie break. I'm gonna take that off. All right. So now what we gotta do is we gotta go back to the front of this. We're gonna fly. It takes too long to walk. I don't have time to walk. All right. Look, we still got a lot to go yet. All right. So we're gonna cut it where. Uh, this one might be a little close, so we'll cut this one right here. There we go. I don't think any of the couplers got damaged. We hit it doing about eight or nine mile an hour. So that, that's not good. You want to be between five and three is where you really want to be. Am I slowly? Is something moving right now? Is it not? Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, oh, look at that. We can uh, open the coupler. Uh, then over here, we want to open the coupler. We want to close the angle cock. Then we want to put it uh, in forward. Take that back down. These two are correct. And now we're going to pull forward. Should work. Waiting for the slack action to play out. There it goes. Perfect. Now we're going to push it onto this one here. Over this way. Oh, you know, I don't think I set the handbrake on that other car, did I? I'll do that when I go back. All right. Auto brake here. There we go. Just like that. Release the auto brake. Throw her in reverse. Three toots. Give us a go. Uh, okay. There we go. Must have been more slack action. Okay, so now we're going to come over here. And we're going to look at this car here. Is this one still moving? No, it stopped. It stopped. But we should... No, no, no. I don't want to re-rail. Okay, wait a minute now. All right. I don't want to get run over either. Uh, let's put on the handbrake. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Let's not hit this one that hard this time, huh? Okay. Hopefully there's enough room on this track to push it all the way to get all the cars onto this track. 
Jax Duvall is very, very busy. Still trying to find the uh, flashlight. Here we go. That's about right. That's a good speed. There you go, buddy. Okay. So let's do uh, the old F5, F7 to release everything. And then let's fly back here. To see, right? Where are we at here now? We're right here. Come on. A little further. There you go. Oh, too far. There you go. All right. Now let's grab onto this guy and ride him on. Ride him on in. Here we go. I just blew the horn three times. I didn't hear nothing. I didn't hear nada. Here we go. We got some backwards. Whoop. Look at. We got some backwards movement there. It's going to go to zero. It's a lot of weight, though, so we'll put it on two. Oh, it's still zero. A little more. Put it on three. I did release the handbrakes, right? I did. Now he's got... There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Anytime you're ready. Here coming. There we go. Now we got some movement. There we go. Is this really that's this heavy? There's got to be a handbrake on, right? No. These numbers are good. That's good. I think it's just as heavy. Okay. It's just heavy. All right. We're going to run this all the way to the end here now. Oh, that's a defect detector. There's another train running around out there. Yes, yeah, so we'll run this one all the way to the end. All right. So I'll bring you guys back when we make it that far. Hopefully there's enough room on this track. Okay, here we come now. Down towards the end. Look down here just a little bit. Watching my gauges. All right. The, 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 uh, Effective zone does go a little bit past this tarmac, so if I keep it on the tarmac, we should be good. All right, here we go. Nice. Give it a little bit of oomph now. I think we're losing some of our oomph. Our momentum rolling. We stopped. The engine's still moving. Here you go. Give me off. Come over here. And I'll let you know. I'm talking to Smiling Jim right now. I'll let him know when it's done. I got one. You get half. Okay, beautiful. Yep, that's good. That'll do. Uh, so now we're going to uh, fly back to the front. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Fly back to the front. And did it all fit on here or did it not? It did it not. No, almost. Almost, but not quite. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and... No, 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 and we are going to cut it right here. All right. We'll do this. Come on. Okay, I have to go on the other side. So I'm not interfering with that one on that side. Okay, here's it. Okay, we cannot. We're going to set the uh, handbrake. And we're going to uh, get a bump. Give me gump. Can I get a bump? There we go. Give me a bump. 
Thank you. Open the coupler. Come to this side. We're going to open the coupler. We're going to close the angle cock. We're going to put it in forward. Uh, yeah, there it is. Couldn't find the reversal level. You know, on this uh, rail drive, is really complicated. It's really not. I mean, just, just, yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh, there we go. No, it won't let me grab onto this one either. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be on. I want to be on this side though. We'll run up to the front here. We are going to stick these onto the incoming tracks until until the next time we come to Jack's Duval. It's gonna be this track right here, right? This is the first switch that we're gonna throw. Okay. It's getting dark. Too dark to see. Feels like I'm knocking on Jack Stavall's door. Alrighty. The last one here. And let's add some break. There we go. And now this is just a straight shot right onto this track here, right? Nobody else is coming. Nobody else is coming. Okay. Got the OSCTE Stanton connection. Sure. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's put it uh, into reverse. And let's go. Get some. We're just going to back him down until the engines uh, clear this uh, to about right here. So that should be plenty far back. Can I see the engines from here? I'm sure I can, right? Oh, yeah, they're just right there. They're, it's not very far at all. And then, I'm not going to believe this, we will shut down the Jax Duvall uh, shunters. And that front shunter is getting a little low on gas. I'm going to have to consider uh, running that one. Maybe I'll have to look over here at my storage. You can't see it from here, but at my storage. I want to see if we have another uh, SD 4045, something like that. They will place it out in the net. Way. This one will get sent to uh, Bryce Yard so it can be refueled. We'll check it when it gets up. Alrighty. Ooh, we're doing 16. What, am I crazy? Got to slow down here just a little bit. There we go. Indy break this to a stop. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit further though. It was breaking a bit quicker than I thought it would. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, this engine here I think is okay. There's just fuel. It's all, it's about what, three quarters? This one up here, it's about half. Maybe not yet. Maybe he's still got some time left in it. All right, so now we're just going to shut this one down. Do that. Come over here. Uh, we'll set the handbrake, shut off the engine. Come over here, set the handbrake, shut off the engine. There we go. All right. So we have finally finished with Jax Duvall. Uh, so let me put you guys on pause. I'll figure out where on the map we're going next. So here we are now at the Seminole Electric Plant in Orlando. It's your Orlando Utilities. Uh, this train here uh, just got done unloading. In fact, if we fly over here, you can see it goes way back over here. And it just got done unloading right here. All of its cars are empty. And now all of its cars, if you look at the tagger, some are going to Chicago. Some are going back to Cincinnati, Nashville, Chicago, Cincinnati. So we're going to send this back to Rice Yard so it can be humped and then sent out on the right train. 
So to do that, we're going to come over here and we're going to click on this right here. We're going to put it at Q452. At Q452. Of course, we went on to the next day. What day is it now? Uh, okay, that's good. Right there. Uh, it is uh, the 11th. So we will now go back into this Q452 and then we'll put dash 11 just to remind myself that this was made on the 11th. So now we just got to get it rolling. Uh, and can I just, oh, wait a minute now, are these, these should be, uh, manuals, right? Yeah. Okay. That one's correct. And this one here is here. So let's put it under AI control. Well, let, let's start it up first. Let's start it up first. All right. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I don't know. Uh, we'll go like this and we'll say auto start all the locomotives. There you go. What do we got here? We got a uh, SD45-2 followed by a uh, oh, an SD45-2. <laughs> then it's a uh, SD40-2. Finally, we have another SD45-2. Okay, so he's all geared up. And he should be named right now. Q452. That should get him to Rice Yard. Otto should get him to go to Rice Yard. <clears throat> so let's say AI crew it. Okay. Turn his light on. He did. He's tooting the old horn. All good signs. He should start rolling. Let's take a look at this. Yep, he's got... Look at that. Otto's got him track going this way. He should be going on his way to... Uh, the Jacksonville Terminal. Yeah, it's subdivision. So that's, that's where he should be going. There he goes. Beautiful. All right, now we got to move the next coal train. <laughs> After I do some coughing. Uh, or clearing up my throat, anyway. Uh, move the next coal train into position and start unloading that one. And the next one that's ready to go is this one right here. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. And then we're going to say, uh, let's auto start this one. There we go. That's your basic SD-70 ace. It's another ace right here, or is it ES? That's another ace. It's like another ace here. And it's the third ace. It's three SD-70 ACEs in a row. All right, are all three started now? I think so. And then we're going to go... Uh, that. We're going to do this. We're going to say... Uh, do that. Do that. Do that. Beautiful. And we'll say F5, F7. Release the handbrakes and do all the hoses. Make sure they're connected. Uh, instead of having to walk the train. And then we will uh, do this. Because you know what I want to do is I got to see where it actually gets emptied at. And that's going to be that train still going. Yep, he's still moving. He's on his way out. We'll see if he makes it there or not. I don't know. Hopefully, it makes it to Rice Yard, but it'll be a while before we can tell that. Uh, we want to put on the industry tags. Uh, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not. All right, here we go. Let's, let's put it on. Uh, so, left control F8 is the industry tags. Yep. No, it's the rail cars. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Destination train stats off. I want the industry tag, which is right control F8. There we go. So we got to make sure that the cars are on that dotted line there. If they're not on the dotted line, they won't get unloaded. All right. Now, the other thing I want to make sure is these are all tagged for that, right? Yeah. BOS. I'm not sure why it's called BOS. Something Orlando. 
All right, so let's uh, come down here. Uh, turn on the light. There we go. Well, do I want to grab onto it, though? Well, yeah, I suppose we can. I suppose we can. Just to ride it in like this. Of course, some of those things in the way. Let's, let's get rid of that for right Okay. Oh, and another thing I got to do. Let, let's get back off. <laughs> and run over here because we have to throw this switch. I don't want to run through it. There we go. All right. Now let's run back. Of course, why, why would you run there, throw it, and then run back? I should have drove up there. Okay. Unprofessional. Here we go. Put it in forward. Here we go. Release the brakes. Give it some time to cycle up. And kill the bell. All right. We will move these into position now. Have them start. Oh, look, there's another train down this track that's also waiting uh, to be unloaded. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it going here. See here, look at all the coal, coal as far as the eye can see, and then there's the actual plant itself where the coal is burnt to create steam, which turns a term turbine, which in turn electricity. All right, so we're, we're lowering down now. All right, we fell down to a... Oh, no, we're going back up now. Look at my mile per hour. Let's give it a notch, too, now. I think the whole train's moving by now. Oh, it's a heavy one. There we go. There should have been EOT. I didn't put auto EOT on there, so maybe should have been one on there already. I didn't hear anything beep yet, though. Let's go up here and then come down over here. Can I go down there? Why can't I go down there? Over here, I can go down here. Why can't I go down there? Move up. Nope, it's not. It's just not letting me. Okay. Look, I just moved that. Okay. Will not let me go down on this step. Okay. There we go. Some nice running back and forth on the railing there. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna step off because we're gonna fly to see where the line is. All righty. I don't know how many cars you can unload at one time. We'll find that out, of course. <clears throat> There's our industry track, and it goes up to right. Looks like to be about right here. Huh? Yeah. Does. Here he comes. Got up near seven mile an hour now. Now, obviously, you don't really stop under th these things. You just slowly roll through when they are dumped. But uh, the game does not allow for that. So you just got to you gotta do it this way. All right. Throw it back into neutral now as we are squeaking on the like <clears throat> The engines can go past this part. But the, the, the first coal car I want to still be on the dot when it comes through. Keep checking to make sure that's the furthest dot. It is the furthest dot. It don't go any further than that. What's that other train doing? Is he gone? Looks like he's gone. Looks like he left. Good for him. I can't believe we're not doing something in Jack's Duval right now. It's almost disappointing. All right. Now the third engine is going to reach the limit there. There it is. Now we want to stop it. So that coal car is still on the dot. Just, 
starting some indie break. There we go. Should be good right there. All right, let's put on some auto break too. Oh boy, maybe it went a little too far. Let's let's bump it back just a little, just a little, just to make sure that it gets that first car out of there. Of course, I could manually do it too. You can manually empty the car. So let's be painfully anal. Give me a little bit more. It's a heavy load. There it goes. Okay. That's good right there. Now give me all kinds of breaks. Here we go. All right, so now we have one, two. Wait, go up, go up, go up, go up. You're too low, you're too low. Up. There you go. I was curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cars at a time. Maybe fifteen. If that one counts. Uh, but we'll find out when we come back. Okay, so that's all we had to do here. Uh, we can turn those off now. Industry uh, tags. Uh, and then you can see, like I said, back over here, there's another train waiting to dump its load into here, too. So, and then we look at. The dispatcher screen, there's our train that just left. I think, right? Is that it? I don't think it was. It's probably still up in here. But this train here, well, no. But anyway, uh, th these trains here got all backed up because, like a moron, uh, here in uh, uh, the West Yard here, I had a manual switch thrown. And I didn't realize it until it was too late. But now they're starting to move now. This one's going through. That one's going through. So... Oh, uh, that's good. L let me go over here and I'll just fly over here. Uh, yeah. And see what's going on with this train. Did he, did he make it all the way out of the yard? There's there's the other train. He did make it all the way out. Should be down here somewhere. And there he is. He's still on the move. Okay. Very good. All right. So uh, that's the end of uh, that move. And let me put you guys on pause. I figure out what we're doing next. Okay, we are here with A768, which is a local out of uh, Rice Yard. And he is at Rayonier, which is this big complex here. Uh, and he's been working this industry. Um, he, let's see here. Uh, these tankers have all been processed already. They got to go back to Rice Yard. All these boxcars have been loaded. They have to go back to Rice Yard. Then over here, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff to work here. Uh, over here, where are they now? Oh, oh there they are. Uh, these have all been unloaded. They have to go back to uh, Rice Yard. These have been loaded. They have to go to Rice Yard. And then all these wood chips have to be uh, taken back to Rice Yard. Now, the ones that he's already lashed onto still have to be put into onto this track here in order to uh, get unload or get loaded, I should say, in this case. All right, so. What we're going to do is this. Now, the question is, what other industries does does this guy do? Uh, Ace 768. Uh, I don't know. Let's go back uh, to this, though. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. So if we uh, go here. All right. Right control L. That's what I want. All right. So right control. Well, let, let's look. I got to take control of them first. Okay. Oh, I can't because I got to relinquish. Here we go. Train, relinquish. There we go. There we are. Uh, or is this? Okay, there it is there. A768. Uh, so now I should be able to uh, put him on the, uh, what, what did I say? Right control L? Okay, maybe because this is, let's make this A768 as well. A768. No, 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 A768. There we go. What, what, what the? Oh, I got caps lock on. Gosh darn it. A is 
gonna bother me. 768. There we go. Beautiful. Now if I go uh this, there we go. All right. So um yeah, so we still have to go back to American Tire and Wheel. Those had to be picked up. That's another one. He also does Guildman's uh building products. Uh, and he's got ones to pick up there. Oh geez, we got a ton of pickups. Then we have progressive rail services has to be picked up. And then we got all of these in Ray and Ear, which we're already here to pick up as well. And then United Egg Marketing. Uh, the eggs are loaded there. <laughs> and these we got to set out. These are the box cars we have with us here. Okay. Uh, so we got lots of work. We got lots of work to do, and I couldn't be happier about it. So let's go right down here. We will land, and we will say, get some. Let's load it up. Uh, let's uh, auto start. These are two uh, SD70 ACEs again. Go. Back is starting up. Very good. And then we'll do... Oh, no, wait a minute. Now, is this one running back here? Not yet. It's still starting. There it is. Now it's running. Okay, then we'll do this this and this uh, now this is the lead right here that's very good and this one should be the, the tail right the MU he's not a single middle he is a uh, short hood trail yeah this should be a short hood lead it is okay then we're gonna do the old F5 F7 thing release the brakes get the hoses all bobberated all right so what we're gonna do now <clears throat> because we have to move these out of the way first. There's no sense in taking the ones I have with me over there. Uh, so let's go over here and decouple from this. Uh, where are you? Is that the right coupler? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, we can't do it. Either. Well, no, keep it open. You want to set the brake. Then you want to just bag it up just a little bit. Give me some back up here. Release all the brakes. There we go. Just give me a little bump is all. Perfect. And then we're going to the handbrake is set. We're going to open the coupler. Then on this side, open the coupler. And we're going to close that angle cock. <clears throat> now we're going to move forward. Now I started with an empty map. So yes, I've worked Rainier before. Wouldn't be cars here had I not. Uh, oh, except we want to go to the front now, don't we? Okay. Yeah, but there we go. We'll, we'll run some switches. We'll run through some switches. Thanks with the bell. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I think we want to go down this track here, right? Is that where we want to go? Uh, let me go down. Fear aiding me. Maybe back down here then. I think we're going to go down the track we're, we're going down right now. Right over with the switch we're going across right now. Alright, so let's slow that down now to five and then we'll let it roll. Uh, let me see here. That's yeah, got to be down this track, right? All right, stop, 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 stop. Has to be. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm thinking correctly. Now, wait a minute. I'm, I'm following this switch. Is this one set correctly? Okay, that is set to uh, normal, so we won't derail or anything or stretch. Uh, and therefore, we want to go with this one right here. Very good. Whoop. Whoop. Missed it. Missed the ladder. Missed it totally. There you go. Now we want to back up, throw it in reverse, release the independent. Let's do some backing up. Alrighty, so now we want this one to be reversed. So this one's also set incorrectly. I must have done the tinkers last, last time I was out here. Let's 
Hop off. Throw this switch. Thank you. Come on back. God, I love doing this. All right. Take that off like that. And let's continue backwards now. All right. Yeah, so we'll throw uh, the, the box cars that we're going to bring back down here onto this second track here. Load these in there. And then we're going to have to go around and gather all the rest of the cars that have to be shipped back to Rice Yard. Now, we'll have to go to those other places, too. Uh, the question is, where are those other places? Now, you may wonder, why, why did I put the tankers here? And that if, if you download again the map from the depot, it tells you where all the cars are supposed to go. In uh, each one of these complexes. All right, we're going a little fast. It's only 15 here. I think I got to switch this over, don't I? Pretty sure I do, right? They're on that track there. Yeah, I do. Okay, so let's jump off. Throw this switch. To, uh... Whoop. To reversed. Very good. Back up we go. Continuing on. Oh, we threw it in notch two, didn't we? Notch one is plenty. We are engines light. Let's not get crazy. All right, let me hit the uh, 15 mile an hour speed limit this time. There we go. Slow speed. Perfect. There we go. Lash onto these. Booyah. And then we're going to say uh, the old cheats. There we go. And we're going to come back up this way. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, we don't have to really have to drop those off there. We could just lash on to the other ones, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking out loud now. Uh, let's go back into forward. There we go. Don't really need the bell. Here we go now. Rainier is a big, big customer. Lots of stuff to do. What does that say? Spawning Q175. Very good. Don't know where that is. I have no idea. I don't know the route that well. I know it a little bit. But not super well. All righty. Even this complex here can be a little uh, confusing <laughs> at times to figure out what track I want to go down. It's going to take me a little bit to gather all these cars, I'm going to tell you that right now. And what I was thinking was I could drop these box cars on that track next to it, like I said, or I could. Uh, did we just. Oh, I said we. Did we run through that switch? I guess it doesn't make a difference, does it? But, um, or option B, we could lash, take our box cars, lash onto this cut over here, pull the whole thing out, and then just back the ones on there that need to be loaded. Uh, I'm not sure. Might be easier to do, be, a, be a, a less of a move to do. I mean, we've got more than enough power to do it. All right. We're going to run through this switch as well. Let's, uh, let's do a little, a little more throttle. Here we go. jump off right here 
think the switches up here should be correct. I will have to go up there and take a look at them. Don't know that for sure. I'm just going to bring it all the way to a stop. I got some switch checking to do. Let me take it down to five. Step off. I'm looking at my switches here now. This one. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on back up. Come on back up. Uh, so this one right here. Okay, that's correct. So that's set to uh, reversed. This right here is fine. It's normal. This one's reversed, which will send it down this track here. And then we got plenty of room. There's no way the train's that long. Okay. So uh, let's go back down to here now. After we flew around some. Uh, and now we're going to continue forward. Take the auto brake. Okay, there you go. You got it. Roll. Roll, baby. Roll with it. Here he comes. You can see here, if we look at the tagger, these are all Miami, Chicago, Tampa Bay, Selkirk? Is that what that is? Cincinnati? Hamilton? I don't know. I feel like I'm making up half of these. Miami, Atlanta, Mobile, Alabama. You know, different places. All right, we'll get a look at some of these boxcars here. Here's an old cotton belt. That thing's still safe for the road. Okay. This should be the end of it right here. I don't think this is really all that long, is it? No, it's not. Yes, sir, Bob. Yeah, so uh, if, if you were following what I was doing back there a little while ago, oh, I had to switch that other engine to A768 because uh, the lead engine is the only one that auto pays attention to. That's why I couldn't get a switch list when that second engine. It, it, ignores, only, it ignores all the engines except for the lead engine's name. So as soon as I told Otto I was 768, then he said, oh, well, here's your switch list. Well, actually, Otto's not telling me that, but you know what I mean. All right. So Wisconsin Central is the last car that's already been serviced by Ray and Ear here. So we'll go this way, and then those two should be set correctly already, right? Uh, yes, except there's only one set correctly, but yes, it is set. All right, grab onto this. You threw that switch into reverse. Here we go. A little bit to get moving here. You can see we got a little bit of a little bit of a cut. I don't know if I'd call that a small cut. Well, in comparison to the other trains been on this route, I guess I'd call that a small cut. Alrighty. See if we can't add, add the feather touch to this uh, coupling. Slide it into neutral right now. Here we come. Look at that view there. Is that great or what? Warms, warms my heart to see that. Looks like I dethrottled at the right time. May not have to use any brake here. I'm not going to have to. We're already under five. Let us jump off.
There we go. Beautiful. Use a break now, though. There you go. F5 it. F7 it. Now put it in forward. Release the independent. Let's roll. Wait for it to roll by, and then I can grab onto the last box car. As long as it's under five mile an hour. So I don't rip my arms out of my sockets. You know, I, I, I've kind of grown attached to my arms, both literally and figuratively. I don't want to lose them. But the first one, like I said, that's the first one here, the Hydra. Hydra, I missed the name of it. That one's already unloaded. This one, or is already loaded. These are all empty here. They had to be loaded here at Rayonair. I don't know what they're producing here. I have no idea. But they're bringing in wood chips. They're uh, bringing in all kinds of liquids. Hazardous liquids. I don't know. Right, slide it into neutrals. We're above five now. I don't want to. I said I want to lose my arms, so I'll wait for it to come by here at 5. Nice old Southern Pacific there, huh? Oh, Hydra Cushion. That's what that other one said up there. Go back in uh, notch 1 again, and we'll grab onto the rail box. Secure. There we go. Here's the front of the train way over there. We're going to clear that switch right there. Bing, bing, bing. Right there. God, I'm not thinking. We aren't, we aren't going to cross those switches up there. And if we do, are we going to? Are they throwing the right way? I should probably fly over there after we. <clears throat> After we do this, I mean, because the engineer would tell me, right? The engineer would radio me and say, "Well, oh, we're about to cross, so we're going to run through this or this uh, switch." That's what he would say, or something to that effect. And we're going to throw this. I think something got messed up here. <clears throat> no, no, we did go this way last time. Okay, so let's uh, let's go check the front of the train and make sure we aren't. Uh... Oh no, no, we're not, we're not. Okay, very good. All right, so now I'm gonna come down here, back here again, and pretend I just didn't fly around, you know, to, so I don't uh, spoil the immersion. Oh, look, it does have an EOT on it. Very good. All right, now we're gonna throw it in reverse, release the uh, auto brake. Give me some throttle. Full throttle. Here we go. Here we go. We got something. Got something on the move. So once we drop these box cars off so they can be loaded, uh, then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go through the rest of Rayoneer here and pick up all these cars uh, that need to go back. And then we're going to leave Rayoneer and go to those other industries to, to service those industries. And then eventually pull this all back into Rice Yard, where we will then hump it all. You know, train stuff. That's some pretty good speed going back here now already. Six mile an hour. Very good. So there are those tankers again. Those have all been unloaded. Yeah, and these cars here that I'm, I'm, I'm backing onto here now just wouldn't fit on the industry tracks. There was not enough room for them. 
Oh, that, that's what happened. We we ran through that second uh, switch the last time we were down here, which is why we went down this track on the way back. Uh, so we're going to have to stop it because uh, this train is, is longer. I'm afraid we're not going to have enough room to put it on. We're going to have to stop in order to uh, throw this switch here. Afraid we won't back all the way down it. Then we're gonna we're gonna get some stretching going here that I don't want. Okay. He's gonna keep it rolling backwards. I can even give it a little bit of gas right now. We'll throttle back up while I walk over here. So it doesn't have to come to a complete stop. Come on. Come on. Throw it back into neutral. So we stay right near five. There we go. Grab on. Got it. I'll throw it back into notch one. Look at that, huh? You jump off, throw the switch. Jump back on. The engineer does not have to come to a complete stop. Railroading perfection. Well, sort of. And now the question is, where is the end of the track? Is it inside the building? It looks like, yep, it's inside the building. Might extend out the back of the building a little. But we'll make it so we don't hit the back wall. Once these are put into place, it takes a certain amount of time for them to either be unloaded or loaded, whatever it's doing. But I spend... How many episodes do we spend in Jacks of All? <laughs> Quite a few, so the, the time goes by. Plus, when I... Uh, as you can see here, I've advanced it to the next day. It takes all that time into consideration. So, yeah. Things get loaded and unloaded pretty fast. And because I'm working all by myself here on the entire railroad, yeah, I rarely run into the situation where I come up and say, oh, it's not, it's not ready yet. What does that say up there? Riverside Cement Company. Oh. I don't recall seeing that before. They have added on new stuff, I think, since I last came to this part of the route, so maybe that's new, or maybe just may not have noticed the first time I was here. That 10 mile an hour seems pretty good to me. We're going to put it into neutral. We're going to suck in so we don't get hit by that. <gasps> Oh, okay, good. And now we're going to add some brakes. Do some auto brakes. Go. Another little nudge with the uh, throttle there. Where do they put all this stuff? When they, uh, where, where, what stuff are they putting on here, I should say? Where is it all? Probably on the other side of this door. All right, now I don't want to get too close. That looks like that is the end right there, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to stop it like right in here. There's no uh, buffer on there? What's over here? Nothing. All right, yeah, that should be good right there. Now we're going to walk up this way. Uh, it's not that one. This should be the last one that needs to be unloaded right here, right? The Southern Pacific. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, A768 Ray, so that one doesn't have to be loaded, I should say. And then this one, yep, going to Mobile, so we're going to... Break it right here. Is it stretched? It is. So we'll set the handbrake. Give us a bump. There we go. Yeah, 
There you are, right there. Perfect. That's why you want to put it all the way to the end there, because you always get... When we couple up later on, you're going to get some movement on there. You don't want to do that. Uh, so we're like this. Otherwise, you're going to ram right in that wall at the end. Uh, close the angle cock, open it. Then we're going to put it in... Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Put it in forward. There we go. Perfect. And we'll just leave this right here to be loaded. You know what else we're going to have to leave? Yeah, we're going to have to leave the video because uh, that's it. We are uh, we're, we're a little bit past the butter zone. Uh, so when we come back for episode 23, we will continue working Ray and Air and continue with uh, A76 at a race yard. Uh, the local. Uh, you know what? I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun this episode. It was nice to get out of uh, Jack's Duval, although I have fun in Jack's Duval, too. It was nice to do something a little different. Uh, why don't you like? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you leave me a comment? And if you don't like the fact that this boxcar seemed to have come all the way to Wisconsin, all the way down to Florida, well, this just may not be the channel for you. 